is instant miracles. Receive your miracle now. Is this God not amazing? He's an amazing God. So you people, from here to there, in the name of Jesus, you can't smoke anymore. Go and try it. Next group. Even if you don't have cigarettes, I'll still pray for you. I'll still pray for you. Then when you go back home, if you want to try it, you can try to see. But if you don't want to try it, it's still okay because you can't now. The desire is gone. So some people, they still want to experiment and say, ah, let me try it again. And they keep on trying. And they keep on trying until the spirit comes back again. So if now you feel like you don't want it, why then look for it? Because it's not in just the trying. The feeling, the desire is gone. So you will not even want to look for it again. If you see it, you feel like, no, I can do without it. So it comes back to the choice because God does not possess you like an evil spirit and make choices for you. You make a choice and he helps you to pursue your choices. Okay? All of you here, whatever it is, whether drinking, smoking, it's all right. It's all right. Some are representing their husbands and so on. Most of you, you don't have the cigarettes, so I'll just pray for you. Jesus. Has prayed for you, you can use now that exit point and yes. go and test yourself. If you are standing in for somebody else, then you can take your seat. But if you are the one that is addicted to alcohol or smoking, you need to go okay. and test yourself. It's okay, let's see it. Man of, man of God, she's saying, My husband has been diabetic for the past 23 years, and I've brought him to this place, and I want him healed. Where is the husband? Ezekiel, Mr. Bizabal, please come here. No longer want it now. Okay. Men of God, what is happening here is awesome. This lady that you see has been taking snuff. So she just tasted the snuff and all of a sudden she can't take it anymore. What is happening, my sister? Um, I started feeling dizzy and um, I wanted to fall onto the ground. What? I can't hear you. Say it again. Um, I started feeling dizzy and now I, I feel like falling. Just look at that. Just look at that. Just look at that. After taking her snuff that she brought, she can no longer stand anymore. You can do better for Jesus. Somebody make some noise for Jesus. Yo, 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 I want to pray so that we can have all sorts of miracles happening at the same time. All sorts. All sorts. Okay. Where is she? I want to hear about your problem, what you said over there. Um, I have a sleeping disorder. Um, okay. I've been having it now for two years. 
Uh, actually, I was exposed to a trauma. We went for a training at work, and when we got there, it was actually a secret cold. Then after that, I went through a trauma. I was diagnosed with uh, post-traumatic stress disorder, which led to major depression disorder. So I've been drinking tablets, sleeping with tablets, for now I'm going for two years now. Two years? Yes. So it's almost impossible for you to just have a normal sleep? No, I have to take tablets. I what, can't. What will you say when you find yourself waking up here? <laughs> without without tablets. Yes, without tablets. Uh, I know that God is great. I know that God is powerful. <laughs> but it will be a miracle, right? Yeah, it will be a miracle. Jesus. Give you a rest. Sleep. You see that that other one over the screen. Men of God, as you prayed for, she more or less had the same problem. And oh, she, look at her, what oh, is happening she, oh, she now. was in the queue. She was in the queue. She was also coming. So now it went to her. Now, I'm going to ask her questions because, you see, it's one thing to have it happening. Now, you people, there's one thing that I want you to analyze. You see, there, it's one thing to have miracles happening where you pray for people and miracles happen, and you have people coming one after the other, testifying. You see, it's easy to have it that way, where you pray, must prayer, and then those that are healed will come out. It's one thing to call out a person first, before the people. It's a dangerous thing, I'm telling you. <laughs> we are everywhere, we are on TV. It's not just you people here. Everyone is watching this, my critics are watching this they want to get news yes. as she was standing there they were waiting to make sure it doesn't happen so they write about it so right now i've let them down right now you see it's always like this and to know that there is an eye that is looking at you every time and you do this you need to be sure that god is present celebrate jesus celebrate jesus You see, when I was asking her, I said, what will you say before she even slept? I said, what will you say if you find yourself waking up from a sleep here? She said, ah, with, with no tablets. <laughs> so I've been drinking tablets, sleeping with tablets for now I'm going for two years now. Two years? Yes. So it's almost impossible for you to just have a normal sleep. No, I have to take tablets. I what? can't. What will you say when you find yourself waking up here? Without, without tablets. Yes, without tablets. Uh, I know that God is great. I know that God is powerful. <laughs> but it will be a miracle, right? Yeah, it will be a miracle. I, Man of God. You see, we don't, we don't need too many miracles. Just one miracle is enough for a day. Just one is enough. Ah, come on. She's not the kind of person who would want to sleep in front of all of you here. Ah. Ah, come on. Put your hands together for Jesus. Ah. Okay. Man of God, I just want, I was surprised. I'm just reading this paper that this lady has, and this is, this is quite amazing. It's, it's, it's awesome. This is from a doctor, and I don't know what doctors are doing, but excuse me for that. I confirm that I have clinically assessed and treated, her name is there, since 1 October 2014 during admission to Denmark Psychiatric Hospital. Which means, men of God, the treatment that is happening here is more than just sleep. There is some psychiatric issues that are being treated as she lies down right there. Let me read further, men of God, if you can allow me. 
Miss Mapafele is treated for a major depressive disorder, major, severe, and comorbid post-traumatic stress disorder. All those vocabulary, big words. All it required was for the man of God just to say sleep. Her treatment consists of pharmacotherapy and individual psychotherapy. Men of God, I don't know that I should finish reading this letter. There's no need because we are not hearing what you're saying. <laughs> but anyway, I didn't really want to wake her up, but there's a moment when a person comes back from sleep. That's the moment that you have to capture. When a person is waking up, because she would be very much surprised. She would be shocked. She can't believe that she was on the floor because now she's busy dreaming. But I don't know because this is not like she has taken something. No. It's a word released. What if I say to you, prosper? All of a sudden, you fall into prosperity. <laughs> the same word, the same voice, I don't know, but I would have wanted to have at least one, two people coming out to, to comment on this. How do you explain this? How do you explain this? It's not a one-day thing. No. This is what is going to be happening on a weekly basis. So, do you want to say something, sir? <laughs> yeah? Let, let me hear. Sorry? God is amazing. God is amazing. He's, he's amazing. What do you have to say, sir? Yes. Uh, God of here. It's, it's a God of living for everybody. Mm. This God is amazing in such a way. It's not a, a God of fake. Mm -hmm. It's a God that gave us everybody strength. Mm -hmm. We appreciate the man of God in front of us oh. to give him more, more, more power. If you go to your house or places, oh. then we must come back. We must work moving forward. Amen. As, Amen. as the Israel, they're coming in the land of Egypt to the land of Canaan. Mm -hmm. You understand? Thank you, men of God. Very Amen. Much. Amen. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. Actually, uh, I was being interviewed there. Mm. For years now, I have seen God walk. Mm. But what I saw in the man of God is something else. I think uh, God has brought back more than Patrick Kuma in the form of a man. Yes, I saw some. Amen. I was planning to come to Zimbabwe. I left my church. I said, I can't worship there today. <laughs> I left the church. You, you, left, you left? I left the church where I was working. I took a part. I, you I said, I have, to, I have to go somewhere. Sir, yeah, I have come, to be here. Come, because come, come, come. Let me give you something. <laughs> Man of God, there is somebody here who has something to say. Man of God, I, I'm very much surprised. I see pastors and men of God pushing people when they pray for them. <laughs> I'm telling you, even men and women will complain that I was not intending to fall, I've been pushed down. <laughs> and I was made to sleep so that it must confirm that the Holy Spirit has, has contacted me to fall down. Mm. I think today also I will be healed because I'm taking drugs for five years now. I went to various places in Nigeria, wherever. And when I come from Nigeria, I came to California Hospital. I slept for seven days. Doctors were seven to me. They checked blood of every nature, but I was never healed. Today, I still have a pocket of, of such drugs in my pocket here. I come. think today is my day. Come. Amen of God. Come. Let's celebrate Jesus. Let's celebrate Jesus. Men of God, I think whilst my sister is enjoying her sleep, you may help this lady. 
She gave birth six months ago, and ever since then, she has been bleeding every day for the past six months, mm. non-stop. Mm. As we speak, she is bleeding right now, man of God. Oh, what's your name, my sister? Uh, what's your Veronica. name? Veronica. Yes. Veronica, listen to me. I speak to the floor of the blood to stop now. Just look at what is happening. Just look at what is happening. Jesus. Okay, so now, a few minutes from now, she has to go. You know what to do, you nurses. She has to change. And a few minutes later, let's see, because the blood has just stopped. You can do better for Jesus. Watching Instant Miracles 